hello welcome to my channel um today i just wanted to talk of just in the holy spirit and trust what the lord has to say um i feel like there is a time we have to be sanctified um like where we just seek his his spirit his holy spirit to be the only spirit that we walk in and um, because sanctification is the will of god for us and we have to be those who see him and know him and is intimate with him. And I can't be intimate with him if I'm abiding in the things of the darkness, things of the flesh. We have to be able to walk in his Holy Spirit. And that is in itself a work of the Holy Spirit. Um, and as believers who are aware of Jesus Christ, who know Jesus Christ, who believed in the gospel and who believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ, we walk toward him right it says we have to follow him bear our cross and follow him so how do we follow god it's by not walking in the things of the flesh hey little one it's by not walking in the things of the flesh in the scriptures it talks about what is in that flesh and that there's no good thing in the flesh and it talks about the scriptures also talk about the holy spirit and the goodness and the perfection of holiness like is in the holy spirit you can't be holy in any other spirit because it says though a man may feel like he's clean he may not actually be, be clean um because the lord knows the truth people can feel like they're holy when they're not holy people can feel like they're clean when they're not clean holiness and cleanliness in the spirit is dictated by standards that are written and created and made by god it's made and created in God, which means that a man cannot say that there's this sin is not really a, a bad enough. Like, not how do I say it? We can't label what is sin and what is not sin. For instance, sometimes in relationships now, people are having sex outside of marriage. People are um, smoking weed here and there. Um, people are um, seduced, being very seductive. People care simply on vanity on just looks like these things are dangerous and these things are are things that i ask the lord today just that each one it might not even be one of the things i've listed but that the god that the lord jesus christ will convict us and help us understand and see the truth and be freed from the accusation of the enemy and be free from our sins in jesus name that the lord will help us see the difference between his holiness and the work of the flesh this is my child. Yes, Kaya. Mm -hmm. Because the flesh and the Holy Spirit war against each other, right? And what I mean by war against each other is the flesh is never going to be able to produce the Holy Spirit fruits from the Holy Spirit. Because there is in itself corruption. In itself, it's 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 evil things inside of the flesh. Um and the natural state of the human heart can't produce the things that are pure in the Holy Spirit because the natural things of the human heart is lies, wickedness, adultery, murders, hatred, barriers. So we have to walk in His Holy Spirit and we have to be made free, right, by the truth of God. It says, who, um, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. It also says in the scriptures that the truth shall make you free. And to continue in the truth of God, continue in the word of God. If God says something is wrong, continue to believe that it's wrong. Don't ever let the devil, like how he did with Eve in the garden, deceive you and feel like something else is correct, something else, there's something else greater. There's nothing else greater than God who created us for himself and if he says something it's because we have to listen to it
here you go. So we have to take our thoughts captive and not let our thoughts run wild and not give ourselves opportunities to walk in the flesh. And that means studying the scriptures and see what is in ourselves, what is naturally right in the old man that we have to crucify, right? That we may walk in the Holy Spirit. It says it's not us who liveth, but it's Christ who liveth in us. So what is in us that God showed us that is not right and take that right and kill it it's called mortify it says in the scriptures mortify the deeds of the flesh in the king james version how do you kill something it's by not doing it it's totally taking that out of your life removing it from your imaginations and your in your thoughts and your dreams and in your hopes like don't hope to cheat on your wife don't hope to fornicate don't hope to um, check out men and women. Don't hope to lie and boast on yourself, boast about yourself. Don't hope for kajillions of dollars so you can just swim in money while everyone else around you need cash and is working so hard and is losing time and with their families and not able to, not able and be not able to clothe their family properly and not able to feed their family, you know, because their 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 bills are too high and and or the medical bills are so high and all these different things like we have to make sure that we are walking in the holy spirit because the holy spirit calls us for greater things than the things of the flesh he calls us to walk in the holy spirit he calls us to live in the holy spirit to rest in the holy spirit so i think you know it's like a lot for us Christians, sometimes we want to be lazy spiritually, and sometimes we don't want to go into the scriptures and see what it has to say. But I'm saying that the word of God has to come into our hearts, right? And we are cleansed by the word of God. There is something that that changes in us. Like prayer, um, believing in the word of God, reading the word of God, right? When we believe in the word of God, we read the word of God and we submit to the word of God. If someone from a higher authority gives a command, right? That command is obeyed by the person that's lower. God is the highest. He's called the King of Kings. He is the King of Kings and he is the Lord of Lords. So that's why we bow to him and we bow to his word. And when we bow to his word, then we're made free because we have him as our head, right? What do we write him as our head? He is the one that we listen to. He's the one who's our covering, right? He's the one who's, who, who, who leads us and guides us and goes before us, right? As he's our shepherd. So the thing about it is if we decide to pick and choose what we believe in the scriptures, we're acting as though he's beneath us, as though he doesn't know us and what he has caused to be written in the holy scriptures they wouldn't be called holy if they had a flaw right if 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 only four of the ten commandments is a legit is holy right then why is why do we call god holy no because every command he written for a purpose when he says love your neighbor as yourself he didn't do that so we can be soft and we can be manipulated and be abused he said love your neighbor as yourself because he himself is love and if you decide to start walking in your flesh instead of the holy spirit which caused us to love and have faith and hope then what happened is destruction follow curses follow and you're under the wrath of god it says the whole point of the go the gospel says that if a man does not believe in the gospel of Christ he is already condemned and when it says he's already condemned it basically means that we don't have a chance but God has created a chance in us right by sending the Holy Spirit because he has caused us to believe in him he has given it to us right the gift of faith which isn't by the man who willeth or of um the will of the flesh or a man has given another person salvation it's simply by the will of god and god has chosen us right and if you're battling today is the time to choose god today is the time to surrender to god today is the time to understand that the lord has greater purpose greater things for you in him right so that means we have to start crucifying our flesh and put to death the things of the old man that have no regard for god that have no regard for the word of god and when things don't have regard for the word of God, what happens is that leads us closer to the devil's domain and farther from Christ Jesus and causes us to be able to 
be um, influenced by the enemy. We have to be delivered from being influenced by the enemy today in the name of Jesus because the Word of God says one thing and we got to listen to what the Word of God says. We have to listen to what the Word of God says because the Word of God is written for a reason. And the Word of God has the highest hopes for us. He says that when we believe in Jesus Christ, we'll be given everlasting life. Jesus Christ himself is the word of God. He is God embodied in the flesh and he rose back up again. Though his flesh had died, he rose back up again, right? And he ascended into heaven into the right hand of power. The Lord has a plan for us. The Lord has a plan for us. And today is the time that we ask God to be the center of everything for us. And to be our vision, to be the love of our, be our first love. What I mean by first love is, it says in Revelations, right, um, when God was talking and giving critique, giving um, wisdom and instruction to the churches, um, in the end time churches, he looked at the church of Revelation. And he said that they, he's not their first love anymore. And for them to go back to their first works. And... That spoke to me, and it still does speak to me, and I pray that the Lord will help me if, you know, go back to my first works in all areas of my life. But I want to go back to my first works, you know. If I'm not, I want to go there. Um, and that's what we need the Holy Spirit to really convict us and, and help Him be our first love and for us to... Go before him on um, the throne of grace um, and cry out for mercy. Cry out for mercy for ourselves and our family members and that we will be able to return to our first love and complete the work, first works that we've done before. It says faith worketh with love, which means without love you cannot have faith. It says these three are the greatest, faith, hope, and love. Love, faith, and hope. So I just really pray that the Lord will help us return to Him being our first love and transforming the way we talk, the way we believe, and, and speaking in faith and gratefulness, understanding that the weapon that's formed against us shall not prosper in Jesus' name, and that all things work for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose, right? All things, I declare it now in Jesus' mighty name, all things will work out for our good. Let us walk in the Holy Spirit and have the mind of Christ and the love of God and let him be our first love. Um, he is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Who can stand before him? And who can be against us, those who he has chosen? And no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. In Jesus' name, amen. Also, be careful of your friends. The enemies sometimes come in looking like a friend. Walk in the Holy Spirit and do all things in Jesus Christ.